Hey friends, thanks for clicking on the video. Hope you enjoy this video. We're gonna talk about personal CD players in this video. It's been a long time since I've had a personal CD player. Of course, now I have a couple, but you get the point, right? It's been a bit, and when I did have them, I knew them more as like Discman, so like this thing right here, and I was hard on these. I put them in my car, they were in my backpack. They went everywhere with me, and of course I had like a portfolio and these were like the go-to for me for entertainment back in the 90s when I was out and about. Of course, didn't have phones or anything like that at that point. Well, we had phones. Correction, we didn't have smartphones. There we go. I did have a brick phone. I thought that was the coolest thing to have back in the 90s. I was like the cool kid. Um, of course, I only had a plan that had 10 minutes on it. And you, there was no like text messaging. Uh, but I had a page or two so I could get like a text message or something. Anyways, back to, I, 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 tangent, tangent, cool. Anyways, I was watching Techmoan and he was like reviewing some of the, I think it was Techmoan, I'm pretty sure it was Techmoan. And he was reviewing some of the CD players that are out now. And it, you see, look at like, so this is Sony. I just looked up on Amazon, personal CD player Sony. And the prices are like 250, 300. I don't even know that these are like new, new. I think these are like, maybe you know vintage new i don't know does sony still make cd players i i i for 450 bucks 500 dollars whoo there this cheapest one is 300 and i can't tell it looks like it's there's a lot of them that have been sold so yeah maybe maybe these are vintage new stock old stock new brand new i don't know anyways so there's it there are CD players out there, and they, they are cheap, but um, I prefer uh, the old ones. So what I did is I went out to, um, what's that place? eBay. Yeah, that eBay place. And I searched for new, uh, in the package, vintage CD players. And this is what I found. I found uh, four of them. And you'll get to see which ones are actually brand new in the package here real quick. Because, of course, eBay being a reseller's paradise, uh, if people see something in a box, they just assume that it's new. And that's not always the case. Anyways, the, uh, the, uh, the mystery that will be here, we'll unravel it here. All right, let's go in and start looking at these. What you would have got in a box of these. Oh, one thing that I wanted to mention about the eBayness is that it's getting harder and harder to find uh, CD players in good condition or personal CD players in good condition. So that's why I went and bought so many of them is because I was like, well, you know, as hard as I am on them, uh, I need a backup. So um, I bought 10 of them. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Let's open number one here. This is an Optimus uh, CD. 3790 was sold in the mid 90s and when i went to radio shack optimus is radio shack's brand name uh in the mid 90s uh, this is what i wanted to buy of course being a poor college student i could not afford this one i ended up buying the cheapest one which i don't even know that it was an optimus so um you know by that time i i had beat up so many sony's that i was going poor all right, so this is uh, the top box in the package. All right, so let's see what's in here. Oh boy. Oh wow. Look at that. All right, there's a case. Oh, with a belt loops. Belt loops. You could hang this off of your belt and you could be awesome. And then here is your cassette converter which i don't even have a car that has a cassette player in it anymore oh, and there's your car plug-in for your cigarette lighter sweet awesome man this is new holy moly this is like really good all right and then you have jacks for your stereo and by the way these actually do sound really good in your stereo <clears throat> on your stereo not in it don't put it in your stereo that's the wrong way to do it <laughs> all right so put all this back in there now let's go in here uh, manual all right 
I don't believe the, so this is printed in Thailand. I wonder where the CD player itself was made. Uh, Tandy Corporation, blah, blah, blah. Nothing that tells us there. Oh boy. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, this really is like brand, brand spanking new. Oh wow. So these have phono out and they have line out so you can hook them right into your stereo. Actually, it's that one over there. We'll hook it in and listen to it here in a second. Wow, what a time capsule. So cool. All right, so that's that one. Now, you didn't get any headphones with this one. This one was like the no frills. You didn't get the plug-in, you didn't get the headphones. You didn't get really much of anything outside of setting it up for your car. All right, we'll set this to the side. Next up, we have the Panasonic. And this one is new in the package, yes, no? I don't know. Let's give it a good look. Well, it's, it's, it's in really super good condition if it's not new it has a couple of lines on it which could very well be from moving around in the box hmm there's no wear on the play and stop it might be oh we forgot to look where the optimus was made this one was made in japan which is a good it's a very good all right what else do we have in this one Nothing else, and it was supposed to have a car kit. So, uh, my guess is not new in the box, but it had its box. <laughs> All right, not a waste of money because uh, I only paid like maybe 20 to $30 with shipping for this. All right, here's a Phillips. All right. Oh boy, this one might actually be new too. Oh, hey, yeah, this one is... Uh, there's a little bit of gunk on the bottom there. Yeah, and there's some dinks. Not new. In really good condition, though. Really super good condition. Alright, let's see here. This just fell out of this. So that's your car charger your car power all right this is wrapped like so we can obviously tell that uh not new all right and the headphones are wound up like <laughs> like this is how they came out of your pocket when you're wandering around right oh and it's got all kinds of ear gunk on it oh gross all right those are trash <laughs> oh yeah oh nasty all right so this one is kinda new. <laughs> we'll, we'll put kinda new on there. Very, uh, yeah, not new. Not new at all. All right, I'm not even gonna put the kinda on there. I'm taking that kinda back. All right, let's look at the third one. This one was supposed to be brand new in the box. RCA Digital. Oh yeah, digital. Love digital. <laughs> All right, this moment of truth. Oh, everything's still in the plastic. This is still taped down. All right, oh, that's, this has been opened. Uh-oh, but the twisty tie is still on it. It's not always a guaranteed sign, though. All right, headphones, headphones. Oh, but look at that. Oh, man, they're missing their foam, which I suppose you can probably get some foam. Yeah, but the sound from these were just never impressive, so not really a good reason to, to actually use them. It was like they were, they were horrible. I'm just going to put it out there. All right. Oh, nope, not new. There's scuffs. Really good condition, though. Really good. October 94. 
made in Malaysia. All right, so uh, that's what you would have got in one of these boxes when you purchased it back in the 90s. Pretty cool stuff. I think I'm just gonna actually make a video of the way that these sound, because I wanna compare them to the Rotel, uh, or maybe even the Kenwood and maybe a Blu-ray player, just to, you know, do a comparison. How bad did these things actually sound? What the hell is this? It's one of the twisty ties stuck into the foam. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.